What's up guys, Sam I'm back and today we're going to be taking a look at McFarlane Toys brand new The Princess Bride Dread Pirate Roberts, The Princess Bride Princess Buttercup Red Dress. Say red dress because I'm assuming they're going to give us a variant with a different color and I'm sure we're going to get a Dread Pirates Robert with an unmask. You know how McFarlane works. Um, there is other figures from this wave. I love the back. I like how they have the card with the image of the character and then I still need Physique and Indigo Montoya. I definitely want the Andre the Giant one. These are 22 parts, 22 moving parts. So 22 points of articulation, basically. Packaging on this is pretty nice. Now, I think the only action figure that ever came out from this line or from this movie was NECA Toys that, that did this. I know the 1-6 scale Quantum Mechanics did some figures. I think it was Quantum Mechanics. But Net McFarlane is now taking over the license. So this is pretty cool. Oh, I like this image right here of um, Dread... I always forget how to say his name. Dread Pirate Roberts and uh, Princess Buttercup. So let's open this up. We're going to see if this... Oh, and these are priced at $24.99. These are a little more expensive. And my buddy Robert got these for me at Target. So these are going to be a little more pricey. Let's open this up and let's see if this is going to be a pickup or a pass. Okay, guys. So let me go ahead and show you what these characters come with. So Dread Pirate Roberts does come with a sword. So hopefully you can see that there. It is a soft rubber material for the blade. And then the handle looks pretty cool. So it's got a little bit of detailing on there. And then both figures do come with a base. Similar to all the other McFarlane black circular bases, except it says, it reads, The Princess Bride. Buttercup does not come with any accessories whatsoever. But she does have some soft goods with her. So you can see she has her belt which is a separate piece, okay? You can see the designs there. It's a soft rubber. And the lower part of her dress is actually cloth. So you have all cloth here. And if you lift it up, she's wearing red pants. Now, I'm pretty sure she's not wearing that in the film, but she's got red pants here. And then she has red boots. And then there's the bottom. She's got black. And then you have peg holes there. Now, the likeness to Princess Buttercup here, I mean, it's a hit or miss. It kind of does resemble the actress let me see if i can get the box here really quick so let's see i totally just messed up this box so look at that i mean what do you guys think it looks like an older version of her <laughs> it looks like what she probably would look like right now it's not a bad head sculpt though the upper part all this upper part right here is sculpted the shirt and the the sleeves and everything that is all sculpted the heads again the face is not that bad the hair uh, the hair sculpting on this is actually really well done and then she's wearing some kind of like a um i don't know if it's like a tiara on top but it almost looks like those nets the fish net thingies that the cooks wear <laughs> she's wearing one of those um so she does have that on top overall it's not a bad figure okay now if you're a fan of the princess bride you're definitely going to want this figure. I mean, it's 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 good. It's a good figure, and I just I'm I got I had to get it because of nostalgia reasons. So unfortunately, uh, she doesn't come with any kind of accessories. Now we're gonna look at Dread Pirate Roberts. That's like such a handful to say. Now he looks pretty good. I'm trying to get him to stand straight because I kind of feel like I don't know. I kind of feel like he's a little unproportioned. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I almost feel like something on him is a little off. For sure the beard, or I don't know if it's paint problem, right there, he's got a mole. But like that 5 o'clock shadow that he has going on, he doesn't have that in the film. At least I don't think he does. Let me look at the back of the box. I don't, okay, it's, it doesn't look like, he definitely had the little mustache thing going on there. That, this 5 o'clock shadow, or dirt, it's on his neck too. It's very, very messy. If you guys have this figure... Let me know in the comments below if you have the same problem with this guy. Um, but overall, the likeness to carry uh, looks it looks okay. It's not a hundred percent accurate. He's got the black mask, and then he's got the black little like kind of like do rag there, and then there's the back right here. It's a soft rubber material. He's got his black outfit. You have a little bit of detailing right here on the sleeves. It kind of gets bigger down here in the lower part of the sleeves. He is wearing his black gloves, and then he has his sheath for his sword. And I, yeah, you can just slide it in. But the thing is that it's open on the side. So it's not like a, an enclosed sheath. You have his belt. You got the buckle right over here. And then, you know, the shirt and everything. And then right here on the back, here is the band, like the little tie, I guess, for the belt. And then right here, you can see the lower part of the legs. The boots look pretty good. 
and the boots there and then the bottom i mean overall these are pretty decent looking figures again i got these for nostalgia reasons and i definitely want to pick up the whole set now i'm not even sure if we're going to be getting villains to go with these characters because the princess bride has a lot of great characters i mean i would love to get a fred savage figure Okay, so as far as accessory, or not accessory, articulation goes, so for Dread Pirates, the head can rotate. It also does go up and down. The arms do go in and out, forward and back, a bend at the elbow. This really throws me off, and I understand it's because it's baggy in the lower part of the sleeves, but it just looks really funky. Look at that, especially in this view. Uh, the lower arm doesn't have any rotation. He's got an upper arm swivel here. The hand can rotate, and he does have a hinge. The waist has rotation. He's got an ab crunch. I think he's got two points of articulation in the waist. I think he does. Legs go in and out, forward and back, double jointed at the knees. No lower boot rotation. The foot can rotate. He's got toe articulation. You can get it to go side and side. So he's got pretty decent articulation. And for Buttercup, it's going to be pretty much the same exact thing. You got rotation of the head sculpt, goes up and down, legs go, or the arms go in and out, forward and back. She's double jointed at the elbows, upper arm rotation, the legs go in and out, forward and back. Let's see, double jointed at the knees, no lower leg rotation. She does have toe articulation and the foot has that whole like ankle pivot articulation there. So not bad articulation for these figures. And there you go, guys. Just my quick little review. We're taking a look today at the brand new McFarlane Toys, The Princess Bride. We have Dread Pirate Roberts and Princess Buttercup with red dress. So Dread Pirate Roberts does hold on to his sword perfectly fine. It's a little warped. That's kind of unfortunate. Um, overall, they look good. They're great figures, okay? They're, they're not like the best looking figures it's not probably not going to be for everybody either unless this movie like holds a special place in your heart like it does for me because i grew up watching this movie i love fantasy movies um i definitely will be picking up the under the giant figure and inigo montoya but mcfarland please give us some more characters like the six hand man uh the main villain as well They're, like i said got colorful actors in this film a lot of great characters so let me know in the comments down below guys if this is a pickup is it a pass what do you think about the price point 24.99 what do you think about the figures overall does what do you think about this movie have you seen it thank you for watching later guys